okay friends now we are going to look at another Lineuver Burke plot for of a Michael's Mentini enzyme in the presence of a mixed inhibitor okay now uh, this mixed inhibitor is will have some different effect on this graph as we will see in the Michael's Menten equation so start with again with the normal Michael's Menten equation that is a v0 equals to v max into s divided by k m plus s but in this mixed type of inhibition we are having both type of inhibition at the same uh, frame that means we are having the competitive inhibition along with uh, we are having the uncompetitive inhibition now in competitive inhibition what we can see that the substrate uh, that the inhibitor will actually uh, inhibitor is actually trying uh, to uh, act achieve uh, the active site of an enzyme competing with the substrate so they are actually modifying themselves to make their structures uh, resemble uh, like substrates so they are doing this okay but uh, in, in uncompetitive inhibition uh, the inhibitor bind with the enzyme substrate complex rather than normal enzyme or free enzyme so in this case what we are looking at we are having v0 equals to so 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 in this mixed type of inhibition or alternatively non-competitive type of inhibition alternatively non-competitive -com inhibition uh, we are having the equation v0 equals to v max into s divided by alpha km plus alpha prime s so in in case of normal competitive inhibition we are having only alpha km into s so so only uh, the multiplication will, will uh, we can find in km in case of uncompetitive inhibition we, we found find this uh, alpha prime uh, multiplication with substrate concentration but in case of this mixed inhibition we are having uh, this alpha uh, mm, uh, multiplication with both km and substrate concentration then in this case if uh, this alpha is again 1 plus one i by ki and alpha prime equals to 1 plus i by k prime i now again in this case this k i and k prime r i are the dissociation constant now k i will be e, uh, enzyme concentration into inhibitor concentration divided by enzyme inhibitor co uh, complex concentration and k i prime will be the enzyme substrate concentration into uh, inhibitor concentration divided by enzyme substrate inhibition concentration we have seen this before now if the if there is an absence of the inhibitor if there is no inhibitor like the i is 0 uh, so in this case alpha will be 0 uh, sorry alpha will be 1 because ki is 0 so alpha will be 1 as well as the alpha prime will be 1 so what we are having we are having 1 by v max at the uh, y intercept as well as uh, we are having minus 1 by k at the x intercept so everything will be fine now if we vary this thing if we add uh, the inhibitor in the environment so so suppose here is the concentration of inhibitor is i and i is in this case 0 0.5 ki and that is also uh, this i equals to 0 0.25 k ki prime then what happens so i equals to 0 0.5 ki that means here uh, 0 0.5 ki so ki ki will be uh, will, will cut and we are having the 1.5 so the alpha value will be 1.5 in this case and the alpha prime value will be 1.25 in this case because i equals to 0 0.25 ki so ki will be uh, will be go uh, will go on and 0 0.25 plus 1 will be 1.25 now we are having alpha of 1.5 and alpha prime of 1.25 in this case so what we'll have then we are having the different straight line and but but the line will not be parallel uh, like the uncompetitive inhibition it can all it, it, it is not a uh, uh, like uh, it is also not like the competitive inhibition too so it's, it's something a different kind of graph okay so in this case we are having the uh, the, the slope is equal to the alpha km by v max so slope in this case will be alpha km by v max that is actually resembling the slope like uh, the competitive inhibition and it is a sleep uh, steeper than that of the un uh, un uninhibited line the y intercept is uh, alpha prime by v max and the x intercept in this case will be alpha minus alpha prime by alpha km so that is the variation so y intercept is alpha prime by v max and the x intercept will be alpha prime by alpha km okay a comparison of the two lines reveals what it reveals that the inhibitor must be a mixed inhibitor because the two lines intersect uh, in, in the upper left quadrant but not on the y-axis with the inhibitor present and the Vmax is reduced by the factor of alpha prime okay so the Vmax is reduced by the factor of alpha prime while the Km is uh, multiplied by the alpha by alpha prime okay so that is the change so they intercept 
they intersect only they they intersect not on the x-axis or never on the y-axis so they only intersect in between the x and y-axis in the upper left quadrant here so that is the characteristic uh, plot for and mixed inhibition uh, of enzymatic reaction so in only the mixed inhibition we can find the intersect between these two lines of normally uh, normally occurred uh, enzymatic reaction and in, in, in enzyme uh, inhibitor uh, inhibited enzymatic reaction we are having the intersect of both lines at the upper left quadrants okay but note that if ki equals to ki prime then the alpha will be alpha prime and the km does not change for this time okay so the most variation is being done in the in this vmax vmax will definitely getting increased uh, sorry in will definitely getting reduced uh, by a factor of alpha prime but uh, in other case this alpha prime by alpha so in other case this uh, km uh, sometimes will not get changed because it is it is a value of alpha prime by alpha alpha so if alpha equals to alpha prime then the km will not change but came in in normal situation in general situation if we are varying in the alpha and alpha prime then the km will also change okay so that is important assumption about this now as the concentration of the mixed inhibitor is increased steeper lines are obtained in the double reciprocal plot as we can see here so it is the lines are increasing okay in the double reciprocal plot with each uh, interesting uh, the which sorry which each intersecting the y axis at a higher point and the value of alpha and alpha prime can be determined by, by comparing the slopes of the lines and the y intercepts respectively if alpha or alpha prime if alpha or alpha prime have been determined uh, and if uh, if i or uh, the concentration of inhibitor is known then ki and k uh, k k prime i can easily be calculated from that and we can know the the nature of uh, this uh, competitive inhibitor we can study this competitive inhibitor and also uh, uh, the the uh, reaction or the enzyme kinetics that is mediated by this competitive inhibitor very easily now alternatively the values of the x intercepts or or the point of the in intersection of all lines can be used in this case for determining that okay but the most important thing i want you to focus on is is here which is this intersect which is the intersect where all these lines are actually colliding with, with the point which is present in the upper left hemisphere upper left quadrant here we are having uh, here uh, two points one minus alpha alpha prime by alpha minus one into km and another one is alpha minus alpha prime divided by alpha minus one into v max so this is the value these are the values which are important okay so we can use that uh, we can use them to finally go on and study uh, uh, the value of ki and k prime i that's it and i hope that's going to help you thank you